Happy Tuesday. How you doing? My entourage is not here, so I had to fix myself up. Can you tell? Today is Taco Tuesday. Today is the day everybody runs out and gets tacos for lunch. Actually, we had tacos yesterday. I'm not sure what we're going to have today. We're going to have something, though. huh? Happy Tuesday. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life, and the best of my life is the rest of my life. I'm still trying to fix myself up here a little bit. My entourage is not here. Not Wisconsin. All the way to Wisconsin. But you know who will be back on Thursday. And hopefully, we will get a merry minute out of her on Friday, huh? That's something to look forward to. Hey, don't forget to share this video with everybody you know. Everybody you know, share this video, huh? And if you need prayers answered today, please call me. Please call me. And I am, I will pray with you and we will get your prayers answered. We have had incredible praise reports here lately. I'm telling you the kind of praise reports that will knock your socks off. Amen. Glory to God. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to bless you. I want to speak that word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. That's why most of you will find that when you call me, I'm going to speak that blessing over you. Amen. No matter what you're calling me for, I'm going to bless you. Because I like to bless people. I want that blessing in you. I want you to be blessed more than you want to be blessed, if you can believe that. I really do. I need God's people to be blessed. I want, here's what I'm looking for. I want 1,000 people to be walking around there. 1,000 partners to be walking around with the blessing of God on them. And the reason for that is because you will attract people to the kingdom. Let's start with a thousand and see where we go. Amen. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the fact that does God promise prosperity? Now that is a very popular question, if you can believe that. A lot of people want to know, does God promise prosperity? How many of you know that it tells us? Let's take a look at this. It take it here in, uh, oh, let's look in Psalm 37. It says in Psalm 37, 25, it says 37, 25. Is that what we're looking for? I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. How many of you know, let me, let's, let's define prosperity. Prosperity and abundance are one and the same. Now let's, let me give you my definition. My definition of abundance and prosperity is having enough money to pay your bills with money left over. Money left over. Actually, it's no coincidence that that is also God's definition. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. It says, 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God, look at this. You can tell I spent a little bit of time down here, huh? It says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you having all sufficiency in all things may and may abound to every good work. In other words, that you will have enough for everything you need and money left over. That's God's definition of abundance. Abundance means more than enough, overflow, too much, too much money. I want you to have too much money to pay your bills with. That's 
what I want for you. I, here's the deal. When you have enough money to pay your bills, it takes away the stress. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that poverty is destruction. Now, poverty is not a sin, but it is. It is mighty inconvenient. It's very inconvenient. You don't get to drive a nice car. You don't get to live in a nice house. You don't get to send your kids to private schools like the elites do. How many of you know the elites in this country? None of them send their kids to public schools. None of them. I want you to send your kids to private schools. Amen. But it takes money to do that. It takes abundance. Amen. That's why I want to get you to that point where you can do that. Amen. Where you have enough to do that. God, Paul said to the uh, Philippians, he says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When God supplies your needs, he only knows one way to do it. Abundantly. That's the only way God knows how to operate. If God went to the, if you said to the Lord, go to the store and buy a box of rice. What would he come home with? Would he come home with a tiny little box of minute rice? No. He would come home with a huge, maybe 10 huge boxes. Why is that? Because that's the kind of God he is. That's the kind of God he is. He's a God of too much. Mary called me and said one day, a few months ago, she says, the dollar store now has this Clover Valley applesauce that you like so well. They hadn't had it for a while. I love that applesauce. We never have a meal without it. Amen? Almost never. Unless we're eating pizza or something. And then sometimes there's applesauce involved. No house should ever be without applesauce. I call it sauce of the apple. Somebody called me one day and said, Pastor Jim, what is sauce of the apple? <laughs> applesauce. She said, they now have jars of Clover Valley applesauce. I said, buy 400 jars. She said, I'll get two. I said, get 400. Huh? Why is that? I, whenever I buy something, anybody around here will tell you, I always buy more than enough. I always buy, buy a whole bunch of it. I always do that. And do you know why I do that? Because that's the kind of person I am. Amen? That's the kind of person I am. I always buy too much. Getting back to our question, does God promise prosperity? Well, Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly, huh? Hallelujah. More abundantly? Is that a promise? Here's the thing about the promise of prosperity. It's not automatic but it's available. Does God promise the blessing? It's available. All of God's promises in the Bible are available to you. Paul, Paul said to Timothy, he says, he says, lay hold, lay hold of eternal life. Grab it. You know what? You got to Anything you want, anything you want from God, you got to grab a hold of. Lay hold of eternal salvation. Lay hold of it. 
God's promises are available, but they're not automatic. You got to lay hold, you got to hang on to them. Amen? All of God's promises, God promises that prosperity is available. God promises that healing is available. Yet people, good, wonderful Christian people, sometimes some of God's generals and their families get sick and die. Why is that? Because they did not grab a hold of healing. It's available. It's available to anyone, anytime, any place, according to your faith, Jesus said. Accord, we receive everything, including all of God's promises, according to our faith. You want something from God? You got to believe for it. Even though he's promised. How about salvation? Does God promise salvation? Yes. To everybody who receives Jesus. And Jesus himself said, nobody would be turned down. That's a promise. You ask Jesus to be your savior, I guarantee you're going to spend eternity in heaven. God will never say no to anybody for salvation. Does God promise forgiveness? If you repent. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Please forgive me. Done. End of story. Go about your business. It's all gone. It's available. Forgiveness is not automatic, folks. Amen. Be careful of these hyper-grace people telling you that God's grace is so wonderful you're automatically forgiven. Don't believe it. You have to repent. You have to tell the Lord you're sorry. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Be very careful. Amen? Prosperity is promised by God, but you have to receive it by faith. Amen? Just like all the rest of the promises, God wants to bless us. He wants us to live in abundance. But we have to believe for it. Amen. God takes pleasure, tells us in uh, Psalm 35, verse 27. He, he says, the Lord takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. He takes pleasure in our abundance. He takes pleasure in our shalom. Amen. In our prosperity. But we have to receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Not too hard. Just believe for it. If you need help with this, please call me. I know how to move you into prosperity. I do this all the time. We are having wonderful, wonderful praise reports from people who are moving into abundance. Glory to God. Huh? Was that good today? Tell everybody you know about these videos. These videos are the most advanced word of faith, spirit-filled teaching videos out there. Everybody tells me that. Most the in, in my YouTube channel, there's over a thousand videos. Please get in there. Watch these videos. They will quicken your spirit and increase your faith. And then if you need me to pray with you or you need something, call me. I'll break every generational curse in your life. I'll break the curse of the law in your life and I will speak the blessing over you. I'm out of time. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget when you do your offerings and donations today, Call me because I want to speak the blessing over you and I want to do it today.